Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Cardano, we are trading at 0 0.3326. Highest so far that we've seen today was 3546. So heading over to our daily chart, there is a huge surge of selling into today. We are going to take a look at some price flows, but most importantly, let's take a look at our supply and demand. So when the price itself is moving away from certain clusters, we can see this cluster at the very top here, this node using our fixed volume profile at 35 09, the price itself is either going to find a different area of clusters or again supply and demand so we can see this node here that's sticking out um, but most importantly this area that we want to take a look at so even though the price moved away from this node it is going to be seeking out the next current price and as we can see here it's roughly around the 61% of our fib or just slightly under it now 61% is a golden number of our fib retracements normally we would see some support around this area and if we take a look so far into this um, formation as the price continues to to creep up every single day here in these gorgeous green candles. We can see that the price now has over-exaggerated itself, coming out to as high as the 37.04, and now we're seeing some corrections in the marketplace. So we're coming down to an area of support, resistance, and then now we're seeing is the area of support. This structure that we see in these candlesticks here, it could be represented um, by a continuation pattern. So it's a temporary pause in this uptrend. We're seeing the natural correction of the marketplace for Cardano, and it may actually come up and retest this area of resistance. So the reason why I say it may be like that, because our indicators are showing really heavy selling. We do see the volume is favoring for the sellers, but we can ultimately get a surge of a pump for the volume, pushing the price again really high. Now in the continuation, of this bullish flag. This is ultimately the retest of our resistance line. Again, take a look. We're going to be taking a look at lower time frames as well. There is indicators for our MACD indicator, our stock our SI, and then our KDJ that is showing price is going to be decreasing. So here for our RSI on the right hand side, we can see that the K line snapped right below our D line here. And of course, at the same time, our KDJ showed the same result where the J line crossed over our K um, and our D line as well. Same kind of principle when we take a look on the right hand side when my cursor's at the KDJ, we saw loss of momentum. Okay, loss of momentum. The MACD indicator was going small, and these histograms are getting um, smaller as well and lighter in the color. Knowing where the price is at right now at the very bottom here is our tread line of our area of support. Okay, so this is our um, flag that we are pointing out here. If we do find that area of support, our next area to reach test is going to be at the top here so long if we can be able to get into this area of body now that's kind of forecast you know couple of days from now kind of see the area if we do break through this tread line here and get into this area of body then ultimately our theory for this bullish flag continuation pattern has deceased um, but let's take a look at the four hour time frame because we're it's kind of like crazy here for Cardano today. There was some surges in the marketplace and then there was some, you know, dips in the marketplace as well. So uh, along with other altcoins and Bitcoin that we are seeing today, huge, huge selling. If we take a look at the RSI here, really, there's there, there's really not a whole lot. Here is a bearish divergence I want to show you guys. So I'm just going to clean up the chart here. Some of you guys <laughs> had commented my charts are very messy. I do apologize. Um, so here is a divergence that we can see here. Divergence are when you take a look at the RSI, the RSI can either be decreasing or increasing for the K line. But when we take a look at the natural of the chart, they're complete opposites. So for example, here, we can see the RSI is at 26% at this peak and then coming up to the 31. Now take a look at the placement of this RSI here, okay? So here we see the price point at the very top there. And then at the next peak, at the same peak for the RSI, it decreased on here. So they're complete opposite from the RSI and the actual chart that we see here. With these two characteristics, it is a bearish divergence and that's kind of where we're going to go into today is actually seeing if we're able to hold 
that bearish divergence coming into this area. Take a look at how fast. I'm afraid when I upload this video, we might actually break through this area of supply here. So, or this area of support here and get into the 61% there. Take a look how close that is. Um, and also when we take a look at our MACD indicator right here, it's again increasing in multiple waves. So going into that flag here, we can see just continuation of how dark red these histograms, but most importantly, how big it is, okay? So this may not be the end of this momentum of our MACD indicator. If we take a look here, our K-line is at 0% of our RSI. Regardless, it's at 0% doesn't mean it's going to quickly reverse itself because the MACD is in the red here. We may see the consolidation. So if we do see the RSI cross over, so the K-line crossing over on the uptrend side, we may see the price kind of come down and then consolidate sideways here. If we see another wave, it's going to break that consolidation. Or if we do see a change up from the red to the green, it's going to break it out in the uptrend. Let's quickly take a look at the two hour time frame. Um, let's take a look here. Two hour time frame. Yeah, I mean, we do see a little flat line happening on our RSI at 0%. However, there, there's a lot. So we've got an engulfing candlestick here, of course, in the rain, uh, in the red, <laughs> combine those. We've got a hanging man candlestick here. So these two all in the downtrend is just showing us an exhaustion of the downtrend and more of a bearish downtrend as well. Volume is favoring the um, sellers. If we take a look at the fixed range volume profile. Let's take a look at what we can gather in this range at least. Yeah, so here we're kind of like in no man's land and price is coming down here. We could could potentially use this node 3229 as an area of support if you can see it generated more activity than the other nodes. So this may be a good area of support if there is buyers out there. Um, that's the only if, if there is buyers out there for Cardano right now. So that's kind of my video for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you found the video insightful, but I'll see you next time.